This conference will now be recorded. So uh, we'll be starting our next topic, uh, that is MRP, Material Requirement Plan. So the topics that we are going to cover there, we will see what is MRP, MRP overview, input and output elements of MRP. I'll explain that. Technical uh, process of MRP, when you, when you do MRP, what's going to happen? Then planning file entry concept, what is planning file entry and why it is used? Net requirement calculation. What is net requirement calculation and how it works? Then bomb explosion, explosion of bomb. Then results of the MRP run. Once you do, once uh, MRP run is completed, what what we will be getting? And uh, prerequisites for running MRP. So these are the topics we'll be covering in the MRP overview. Okay. So first, let's talk about uh, MRP overview. So basically, MRP stands for Material Requirement Plan. Okay. The main function of material requirement planning is to guarantee the material availability. Okay, that is, it is used to procure or produce the requirement quantities on time, both for internal purposes and for sales and distribution. Okay, so MRP determines what material is needed, what quantity of the material is needed, and when the material is needed. So ultimately, what MRP ensures is you need to deliver the right product to the customer, right quantity at the right time. Okay, so that that is ensured by MRP, material requirement planning. Okay, during MRP, the system determines a shortage of material quantities and generates procurement proposal. This I will show it in the system. Okay, so in the case of in-house production, the system creates planned orders to plan the production quantities. And in the case of external procurement, the system creates purchase requisition to plan the external procurement quantity. Okay, so this also I'll show it in the system. So basically, normally when you run MRP, you will get either planned orders or purchase requisitions. Okay, so basically, uh, MRP stands for. Uh, MRP stands for Material Requirement Planning. Material Requirement Planning. Okay, so basically uh, we are here. If you see this slide, we are we are here. In the in the previous demand management, we had the forecast. Forecast we entered as uh, planned independent requirements. And from the sales module, from the sales and distribution module, we get sales orders, sales orders. And these two are entered into the demand management. And after that, they will run the market. So we already covered till this part, till this part. Now from here onwards, we will be concentrating on this. One. So when you run MRP, it will try to fulfill the in-house production act requirements and also external procurement requirements. And there is a, some case of, uh, stock transfers that also it will come. So we will be concentrating from here onwards on this one. Okay. So basically, what happens is when you run MRP, when you run MRP, system will generate plan orders. Wherever there is a shortage, system will generate a plan order, provided that material is a internally produced material. Like if it is a semi finished product, finished product, it will generate a plan order. Okay. And for the down level materials, it will generate the dependent requirement. I will show you that. Today, I will show you this in the system. And if the material is an externally procured material, it will generate a purchase requisition. Okay, for the external procurement. Okay, and once that purchase requisition is generated, that purchase requisition is converted to purchase order. This is MM part. This is MM part. Okay, this is MM part actually materials management part and the, in the organizations, this will be taken care by the purchasing department. And uh, uh, some exceptional scenarios, if they make the proper settings, MRP can directly generate the schedule lines also, schedule agreement with schedule lines. Okay, but this MM, MM people will take care. Our role, only we need to ensure that system generates the purchase requisitions, that's all. And from there onwards, MM team will take care, okay? So 
Now, from here onwards, we will be concentrating on this, these, these two, these ones we will concentrate. Okay. So now we will understand the technical process of MRP. Okay. So when you run MRP, normally what happens is system in the background, we, it will perform these activities. First, it will do the net requirement calculation, lot size calculation, procurement type, scheduling, and then bomb explosion. It will carry out these activities in the sequential manner, one after the other. Now, we will understand all these things in detail. What is this net requirement calculation? What is this lot size calculation? What is the procurement type? All these things we will understand in a minute, okay? So before uh, going into net requirement calculation, we need to understand the planning file entry. Okay, so what is this planning file entry? Why it is used, we will understand. So planning file entry means planning file entry means what happens is whenever you run MRP, normally whenever you run uh, MRP, so let's say you're running MRP. Okay, what system does is system will go and check whether that material is having any planning file entry or not if that material is having any planning file entry then mrp will plan that material if that entry is not there for that material it will not plan okay and when the mrp is executed that planning file entry is reset is reset system will reset the planning file entry okay so what it is is what this planning file entry is Suppose I have a plant. In my plant, I have 50,000 materials, all including all um, uh, semi finished, finished, raw material, packing material. I have 50,000 materials. Okay. So now I am running MRP. My MRP frequency is weekly. My MRP frequency, frequency is weekly. I, I run MRP weekly. Okay. So today I executed a MRP. Today, what is the date? 30, 10, 2020. Today I executed a MRP. So when, when I executed MRP, system planned all the 50,000, all the 50,000 materials. Now, when is my next MRP? My next MRP weekly, right? My frequency is weekly. So my next MRP is due on 6th of November. Okay. It is due on 6th of November. 6th of November. So now in this, in the meantime, from this date to this date. So initially I did MRP for all the 50,000 on this date, 50,000, all the 50,000 materials. Now in this one week period, what happens is out of 50,000, only let's say 20,000 materials, there was some change, okay? In, in this one week period, only for 20,000 materials, there is some change. Some change. Some change means new stock has come. Okay. Some stock is issued. New requirement has come. So those things happened. And remaining 30,000 materials, no change. No change. So now, on the 6th of November, does it make any sense to plan again all the 50,000? Does it really require? Is it really required to plan again all the 50,000? Not required. Only if you plan the one which have undergone change after the previous MRP run, that is enough. So 20,000. If you run 20,000, uh, if you run MRP for 20,000 meters, that's enough. No need to plan again all the materials. Okay. So basically, this planning file entry is used for that. Okay. So instead of planning all the materials again and again, system will try to plan only the materials which have undergone some change after the previous mrp so now the question is how system will come to know these 20000 materials there was some change happened so for this to identify these 20000 materials they will use this planning file planning file enter they will use this okay so the, whenever you make some change to the material, system will create an entry. Whenever there is a, some change happens to the material, 
system will create an entry in the planning file entry. So now MRP will read that and then it will plan. Only the materials which have undergone, they have this entry. If you see here, there are how many materials? One, two, three, four, five materials are there. But only two materials have undergone change. So those materials have the planning file. Only system will plan those materials. It will read, MRP will read those entries and it will plan those materials. Remaining it will not plan. It will not plan this material, this material, second material. It will not plan fourth material. And once MRP is completed, these indicators will reset. Okay. So now I will show you this in the system. Okay. So let me show you. Now we need to go to S4 HANA, right? Okay. Not a problem. Let me log in. Okay. Let me take the material. More material. Okay. So we were using plant one seven one zero, but this one right. Okay. So I'll take this product. Okay. So now if you see, let me go to its MD04. Okay. Currently, is there any stock? No. Currently, there is no stock. Okay. So now let us check the planning fail entries of this material. So to check the planning fail entry, what you need to do is I'll open one more session. Go to logistics. Okay. Go to production. Okay. Go to MRP. Go to MRP. Open this. Go to planning. Open this. Here you see there is a folder planning file entry. Open this folder display MG21. Double click. Okay, you will get this screen. Enter your material, enter the plant, and select these three options. Okay, select these three options. 